Yes, good morning, student. Today we will discuss our chapter number twelve, agriculture and industry. In this chapter, we will read about what is agriculture, different types of crops, fruits and vegetable industry, and types of industry. Okay, first is agriculture. Agriculture is the science and art of cultivation, growing crops, and rearing livestock. It is also known as farming a large number of people earn their livelihood by the farming the india is a country of diverse weather condition the this diversity enables a farmer to grow different types of crops like wheat rice millets and cotton pulse jute coffee tea oil seed etc now firstly we will read about the rice india and china are the largest producer of rice it is a staple diet of a large number of people it requires hot and wet climate it is grown in up punjab and haryana next we will study about wheat wheat is also a chief crop of india punjab and haryana are the chief producer of wheat and it requires cold climate at the time of uh, sowing and uh, bright sunshine at the time of harvest next we will uh, read about the next crop millets yes the crops like the jowar bajra and ragi are known as millets these are grown in gujarat madhya pradesh and rajasthan they are also known as coarse crops okay next is pulses oil seed and cotton these are grown on a large scale a large part of rajasthan and hot and dry weather condition are required for them and the black soil is very beneficial for cotton it is very good for the uh, cotton plant now we will discuss about industry and the industries are the lifeline of a country and they provides us the things of a daily use they use lots of things like tv refrigerator bike etc these are manufacture or made in industries okay and the raw material are a very important part of the industry now the types of industry cottage industry number of a family or a few people work together to produce the things from their home like sewing and lace making small scale industry these industries are larger than the cottage industry these industries are engaged in manufacturing things like soap hosiery electric appliances furniture etc now large scale industry these industries make things on a large scale make things on a large scale and heavy machines and tools are used to save the time and labor and the factories that produce cement sugar textile paper and iron and steel are a large scale are the large scale industry now we will learn more about this chapter through the extra marks children can you recognize the image these are wheat flakes but wheat growing in our fields is different isn't it yes you're right those are grown in fields using soil and water and then taken to industries for processing into finished food items like these there is nearly 2/3 of working population in india is engaged in agriculture india having different types of soils and weather conditions produce variety of crops for the people of the country our country exhibits different types of soils and weather conditions which produce variety of agricultural crops for our country in order to understand the importance of agriculture in india one has to study the nature of crops conditions of growth and distribution of these crops in india there are variety of crops which grow in india like rice wheat millets pulses cotton tea coffee sugarcane spices and oil seeds
rice is the most important food crop and a popular staple food for the people of India and grows well in hot and wet climate, particularly along river basins and deltas. West Bengal is the largest producer of rice in India. Other states producing rice includes Punjab, Haryana, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Assam, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. India ranks second in world in wheat production and it is the most important staple food for the people of North India. Wheat is produced in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Wheat requires hot and dry climatic conditions for its growth which is favoured by these states. Millets are small seeded cereal grains used as food and fodder. Millet is grown in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Next we will... Pulses are of various types like Moong, Masoor, Urad, Rajma, Chickpeas, Chana Dal, etc. And the mustard and groundnut oil that is used for preparing our food are made from oil seeds. India is the second largest producer of sugarcane in the world after Brazil. Main states producing sugarcane in India are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The clothes which we wear are made from cotton. It is a tropical crop and grows well in warm areas having high rainfall about 450 to 750 centimeter and temperature around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. This is why states like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu are leading producers of cotton in India. Now we will learn about the industry. All the goods we see and use in day-to-day -day life are known as finished goods. These are made from raw materials like clothes from cotton, paper from wood, metals from ores, sugar from sugar cane. These raw materials can be agricultural materials like cotton, jute, wood, sugar cane, etc. or can be mineral based raw materials like coal, plastic and petroleum. Industry refers to an economic place where conversion of raw materials into finished goods takes place. Industries and agriculture both are essential for the progress of the economy because they are dependent on each other. There are two types of industries basically. Small industries have small number of people working while large industries have thousands of people working in the same industry. Yes, next, uh, you can student they you can see here few people are working in the small scale industry and many people are working in Based the large scale number of people employed, industry. industries in India can be classified as one cottage industries, two small scale industries, three large scale industries. <laughs> Cottage industries are those industries which employ small number of people using simple tools and locally available raw materials. These industries include cotton and jute textile industry, handicraft, basket, shoe and toy industries. Small scale industries are those industries which employ more people using small machines. These industries are furniture, 
utensils, plastic goods, and electrical goods industries. Next is cottage and small scale industries are more useful in India, having a large population as they employ large number of people. Moreover, these industries can be easily set up in rural areas and thus help in checking out migration of village population to cities for employment. Large industries are those which employ thousands of people producing large quantities of goods by using large machines, including textile, iron steel industries, automobile and ship industry. It is expensive to start a large scale industry, but modern methods of production can be easily used in large scale industries as good quality goods can be produced cheaply and in small span of time. That is why important large scale industries of India. Important iron and steel plants are ISCO, Burnpur, Disco, Jamshedpur, and Misko, Karnataka, Vishakhapatnam, Bokaro, Rorkela, and Durgapur. Important oil refineries of India are Digboi Refinery, Assam, Mathura Oil Refinery, Uttar Pradesh, Koyali Refinery, Gujarat, and Baroni Refinery, Bihar. Important shipbuilding industries are located in area which has good accessible networks with the rest of the world. Important shipbuilding industry are located in Vishakhapatnam, Kochi, and Mumbai, engaged in international trade. Other important industries in India are heavy electrical goods, automobile, aircraft manufacturing, computer software, telecom, cement, paper, chemicals, and fertilizers industries. Which oil refineries located in Gujarat? Agriculture and industry both go hand in hand because they depend on each other for raw materials and then finished products to meet the demands of people. That is why, recap, India is an agrarian country as two-thirds of its working population is engaged in agricultural sector. India, among all the major crops of it, India exhibits rich variety of soils and weather conditions. As a result of which, our country favors the growth of variety of agricultural crops like rice, wheat, millet, tea, coffee, sugarcane, pulses, oil seeds, jute, spices, cotton, etc. Among all the major crops of India, rice is the most important crop for the population and wheat is the most important staple food crop. Industry refers to an economic place where conversion of raw materials into finished goods takes place. Based on number of people employed, industries in India can be classified as 1. Cottage industries, two, small scale industries, three, large scale industries. Cottage and small scale industries are more useful in India, having a large population as they employ large number of people. Moreover, large scale industries employ large number of people, producing bulk quantity of goods by using heavy machinery. Important large-scale industries of India are iron and steel industry, textile industry, shipbuilding industry, electronic industry, automobile industry, and oil refineries. Agriculture and industry, both are important sectors of our economy as they depend on each other for raw materials and finished goods to fulfill our demands for goods. 
Thank you. A presentation by Extra Marks. Student, I hope you will understand, understood this chapter well. Thank you and have a great day.